Hey, Trip and Tyler here. Today we'll be talking about movie talkers, shower scrubbing, and Trip gets on top of a soapbox on top of a soapbox. If you're going to a movie with someone and you recognize the actor in the movie, hmm. during the movie is not the time to lean over and ask them, hey, what, what is that guy? What is he in? Yeah. yeah. I, would just, I would take that a step further and I would say, there's really never a reason to lean over and say anything during a movie. You shouldn't even be able to lean over and ask a person a question anyway because there should be a seat buffer. I'm not a seat buffer guy. I like being close to my friends. <laughs> so if we go to a movie together, you're... I, w you're I am always a little disappointed that you don't want to sit next to me. If I'm being 100% transparent, I always feel a little bit of like, huh, Tyler would have been fine being here by himself. That's... It's true. Though. Yeah, it's not. I'm a big go to movie. By even though I don't guy. like talking during movies, I do like going with them. You like to be touching elbow and sharing the armrest. No, but I, you know, if we can go to a movie theater that doesn't have shared armrest, then that's better. I'd, I'd prefer that. So if there is a shared armrest, do you still want me to sit next to you? Yeah, I do. Can I just add to the talking during movies thing? Because you're right. You should never say anything, but. Don't you dare tell me that this scene coming up is good if you've already seen the movie. That's like the like, oh, ultimate. Dude, check this out. Check yes. This out. Like, let me enjoy the movie the way that the writers and directors intended me to. If they wanted me to know that the scene coming up was going to be the really good one, they would have cued me into that somehow. So this means that there are a lot of people that are seeing the same movie twice in the theater, which I don't get. Once I see a movie? No, I'm saying it applies even when you rent and you're sitting on the couch together. That's when it happens more, actually. I feel like a rented movie is when people are most likely to talk. Okay, but my point is, do you watch movies twice? Uh, yeah, not often, but there's some movies that I like to watch twice because I get more out of it the second time. Like, I don't necessarily watch a movie just to find out what happens at the end. If it's a really well-told story, or if it's a comedy with amazing jokes, then I like to appreciate all of the moments of the film. I'm very opposite. You watch it to see what happens at the end? I watch it to see what happens at the end, and if I watch movies only in the movie theater. Once it's, once it's out of the movie theater, there's very little chance that I'm gonna see it. Why? Which brings me to the show and tell. I saw the most amazing documentary that I've ever seen. It's called Searching for Sugar Man. Amazing film. But not a good show and tell because most people have already seen it. The goal was to bring something to introduce I, to people who have, You think most people have already seen that movie? I'm pretty sure that most of you have seen Searching for Sugar Man. Well, I specifically brought that as the show and tell today because I'd be willing to bet 90% of people have not seen Searching for Sugar Man. I don't know how, do we, how we're going to... 90%? Yeah. It's not like it's, it, it's not like it was, okay. Could you not, tweet okay. us at Trip and Tyler and let us know if you have or have not seen Searching for Sugar Man so that we can settle this debate because I feel like it's a popular, it's an Oscar winning documentary. I don't even watch That's documentaries fine. normally and I've seen Searching for Sugar okay. Man. You should see Searching for Sugar Man, but if you're actually looking for the documentary that blows away all other documentaries, the once in a universe Story searching for sugar man. It is actually the imposter. Have you seen the imposter? Not seen the imposter because no. I don't see I, I would like bet I don't have my wallet. I, I will bet you $100 right now that if you see the imposter you will tell me it is a more amazing story. I Don't know how it can be a more amazing story than searching okay, for so sugar bet man. me $100 and you'll be honest right? You'll see it and You'll tell me for real if you thought it was I'll bet you $20 I mean, that's not, like, that's, okay, 20, $21. And here's one way you can make life better. To do a better job cleaning tile grout, all you need is a drill, a soap dispensing palm brush, a long screw, a washer, and a nut. Push the screw through the hole in the middle of the brush. Secure the screw by placing a washer and tightly screwing on the nut.
Insert the other end of the screw into your drill, and bam, a motorized scrub brush. Now you can make all of your dirty tile grout look a little less dirty. Now, let me ask something, I want you to be honest with me. When you eat popcorn at the movie theater, do you eat it like a caveman? <laughs> like I do? Like yeah. There's no other food that causes me to try and put more in my mouth at once than, po than popcorn. Yeah. 